All right. Weed, pussy, or nothing. Jesus Christ. Pushing all the chips in. This is the World Series of Poker. All right. Hey there, Billy Boy. I'm, I'm a new listener to your podcast, but a longtime fan of your stand-up. I was wondering if you could help me out with the, a dilemma I'm facing. So my weed dealer put the moves on me my last time I was at her place. Uh, nothing came of it, but I could tell she was trying to get me to fuck her. Until now, I thought it was weird that she began to sell me pot for practically nothing. <laughs> wow. She's cool, and I've hung out with her oh. at her place many times to just smoke weed. Oh. Just, just as well, I'm single, so I have no problem getting some strange pussy that falls into my lap. The problem <laughs> is that she's a very heavy broad and completely unattractive. Oh, Jesus. But she sells the best weed in the area. Dude, this is fucking... This has all the makings of the great first 10 pages of a script. We've established who the characters are. Oh, and now, yeah. I'm now sure we've got the story the will go super far with this premise. Oh, God. You, you know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what I that. love? You know I what I love? I to do that. I'm you know sorry. That guys, I couldn't help it. I you know that guys it. just want to fuck you. <laughs> Women know that. You use it to your advantage to get shit. And then when we admit that that's what we want to do, you're like, no, no, no. Oh my god, I really wish someone would tell the story about a guy who's getting thrown pussy left and right and doesn't know what to do with it. And it's like a coming of age, and I'm sure he's also fighting with his friends a little bit about, like, what dorm are we going to stay in in college? It's just hilarious. He's got this heavy broad that he's not attracted to who's his fucking weed dealer. Yeah. She's got the best weed. Yeah. He knows he wants, she wants to fuck him. What, what was the rest of the story? Does he want Yeah, to- this is a fucking, come on, Seth Rogen would crush this. Oh, you are in it. You know what? You're hungry. You're like him on that Snickers commercial. No, I don't even no, know who I'm you sure are. I'm right sure Seth Rogen would write a phenomenal transcendent script that Jonah Hill would act out and it would just be like, wow, is this what it's like? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I like all of those people, and I like those movies. You don't like Hot Tub what Time Machine? What is it like to be chubby and awkward and not know what to do with your life? Oh, what are you, why are you being a jerk? I don't know. You're being I'm a jerk. Sorry. Yeah, you're hungry. I'm being a little bit of a jerk. Apologize to I'm Seth Rogen. I'm also Jonah a little... Hill. I'm a little... But I'm a little yeah. Okay. Yeah, you are. You're a little out of sorts here. Okay. All right, you're, you're burning bridges in this town, sweetie. Let me tell you something. Those bridges What's don't come back. What's the rest back. of the story? So uh, but she sells the best weed in the area. I don't want... Right, I don't want to not fuck her and then have her cut me off. But at the okay. same time, I feel that I... If I do fuck her, then I'm no better than an addicted crack whore doing a line off some fat guy's dick. Maybe. Uh, so guess what? When it comes down to it, do I fuck my ugly drug dealer for good oh cheap weed? Oh, my God. Or do, I just, or do I just find a new dealer with super herb and pay more money? Thanks. Hope all is well with you, ginger fuck. Because <laughs> you're ginger fuck. Um... Have you ever heard the expression, don't shit where you eat? Yeah. Don't right. fuck your weed dealer. Yeah, don't just don't fuck her. This is a business relationship. Keep it business. Should he, like, lie and start talking about how he has a girlfriend? No, just buy weed from her and, like, just let it be business. Yeah, stop smoking with her. And also, like, I, I, I mean, maybe she's desperate for your cock, but maybe you're, like, reading into it. She might be trying to fuck you and the next dude. You so know? she's giving she's a drug dealer. So she's, she's a drug dealer. She's hustling. She's hustling for like customers. She's hustling for dick. Like, don't get excited. You know, well, you're not the only one, bruh. So you think? <laughs> yeah, but she's giving it away for next to nothing. If she does that, she's not going to make any money. True. She's making it in other ways. I don't know. I feel like just don't fuck your weed dealer. That just sounds like a disaster written all over it. Or get yourself a really good connect now. Have that in your back pocket. So if you do decide, to, the only reason why you would fuck your weed dealer is if you actually want to fuck her. Not because you're so desperate for the best weed ever. Have you really had the best weed in like your entire city? Probably not. So calm down. Don't He's bang got her. a dealer. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, you're kind of into the habit. You're not just going, hey, can I get a hit off that? When you fucking go in there week after week to the point that the your weed de- dealers are a dime a dozen though there's it's not like it's yeah, a specialty but i'm just saying this fucking chick is de- he's he's buying so much weed off her she's developing feelings for her. she's not 
He might be cute. Jesus. And she might have a little Jesus. crush, but like, it's not that serious. It's, my point is, it's not that serious. Don't fuck your weed dealer unless you want to have a problem with your weed dealer. And you don't want to have that a problem that, that, with a drug dealer. That, that trust me. Weed dealer wants to fuck one of her customers. Of course. I completely believe it. I'm just saying, just don't, don't go there. It's not worth it. That's my bottom line. She's usually not this grumpy, you guys. I'm All right. not grumpy. 